let's see the other options the next option feather lets you specify the range around your selection to make the area transparent for example specify 20 pixels in the feather box and draw a rectangle selection on the image go to the edit menu and select fill select the foreground color from the contents options and press the ok button you will see a blurry smoky area around your selection here 20 pixels means half of the pixels outside the selection border and half of the pixels inside the selection border is the affected area of the feather so inside 10 pixels of your selection border you will find the 100 percent color opacity you have filled so starting from there within the 20 pixels area outside the opacity of the color becomes to zero percent means completely transparent this is very important option and also available with many tools as well as an individual option in the select menu too we can also increase or decrease the value by clicking on the feather text and dragging the mouse left and right the next option is anti-alias to understand this in a better way we will select the elliptical marquee tool Make sure that the anti-alias option is not selected. Make the first selection on the image. Now select the anti-alias option and add another selection on the image. Go to the edit menu and again fill the foreground color in the selection. Click anywhere in the image to deselect the selection. Now locate your mouse pointer between the selections and Press the Alter key and scroll the mouse up. This will zoom the image in. You can clearly make out that the selection without anti-alias option has crooked edges, whereas the selection with the anti-alias option has very smooth edges. We should always keep this option selected for smoother selection. The next option, Style has three options. The current is normal. It allows us to select the area the way we want. The second option under style is fixed ratio. This is a very useful option when you want to select the area with specific proportions. We might have different purposes for selecting pixels like a social media post, a wallpaper for our HD monitor, editing a portrait, photo and many others. For social media posts, we may need a square image, means the ratio is 1 is to 1. For high definition monitors, we need a ratio of 16 is to 9. So if we know the ratio, it's easy to select the area in exact proportions. We can change the width and height according to our need. The third option is fixed size. This is a straightforward option for selecting the exact number of pixels from the image. Here you can specify your selection in pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, percentages or others. You can interchange the width and height values by just clicking on the middle button. Interchanging is possible in fixed size as well as fixed ratio option also. We have two more marquee tools for selecting the single pixel row and single pixel column from an image. Now let's talk about few relative questions. So the first question is, how can we make an exact square or circular selection from the center? For selection like a square or a circle, we need to press and hold the shift key and the alter or the option key both during the selection process. If a selection already exists, then we need to press and hold both the keys after clicking the left mouse button. The second question is, 
how can we change the starting point of selection during the selection process. So pressing and holding the space bar during the selection process will shift the starting point with the mouse pointer. The third question is explain usage of the shift key and the alter or option key during the selection process. Well the shift key can be used for selecting the exact square or circular area. It is also being used to add the areas of existing selection whereas the alter or option key can be used for selecting the symmetrical area from the center. It is also being used to subtract the areas from existing selection. Using both the keys together can be used for creating an exact square or circular area from the center. Also they are used to select the intersect areas between the new and existing selection. The next question is explain feather. Feather makes the selection edges transparent gradually within the specified range. Now next question is what is an anti-alias option? So anti-alias option lets the selection border smooth and not crooked. Next question is what is the difference between fixed ratio and fixed size? So the fixed ratio option selects the area with the proportions we have specified. It can be bigger or smaller in size whereas fixed size option selects the exact area specified in width and height. 